right guys yeah. welcome back to welcome part back to two, two. <laughs> now as usual we're going to kick it off with the animal shaming ones yep which is we got mm -hmm. okay. i jumped on to, i jumped into the bed with a live bat in my mouth and dropped it as a present that's so thoughtful he bought his mummy a bat or potentially oh. his daddy <laughs> See, I don't think of that necessarily as shaming. What would you do if it wasn't, if it was a live bat? What would you do? Because you'd have to call someone, wouldn't you? Because they're you're not allowed to touch them. They're endangered. I don't but... know if that means you can't safely um, catch them and let them out. I don't know. I really don't know. No. <laughs> All right, look at this. Hmm. I chew through cell phone chargers while they're plugged into the walls. How? Oh, he's eighth victim. Yeah, well, you may only be able to bite one more, mate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wonder what it is about them that he particularly likes to chew. That one. Look at that face. He looks he, he innocent. Really Butter yeah. wouldn't melt. I push objects off shelves while looking my human in the eye. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen cats do that. Yeah. <laughs> If I don't do it, don't do it. No, 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 it's no, the sort of thing no, you do. In this guy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do? Come on, <laughs> There's some three clonkers out in case anybody's wondering. Yeah. And next is shopping substitutions. Mm -hmm. I've got some good ones. Yeah. We've got the shop cat. Mm -hmm. Ready? Right. Mm. I had a budgie and ordered millet spray, which yep. is a seed mix. Yeah. They replaced it with dog's flea spray. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that'd be likely to kill the budgie. Yeah. <laughs> but I just don't see where they were going with seed. Mix. I mean. I can understand if they slightly sent sunflower seeds That's or right, pumpkin yeah, seeds or something. But yeah, that yeah. was going to be one bit hungry birdie yeah. or but, poisoned. But but we have no fleas at all. No, that's right. <laughs> um, right, this is a good one as well. Uh, I wanted a pack of four crusty rolls as a yep. substitution. I received a box of Canamore tea bags. <laughs> we haven't got what you want, but but take take a chill pill and have a, have a Canamore tea. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point, actually, yeah, isn't right, it? Yeah. 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 Don't be angry. Drink yeah. some of this. Yeah. Some some people will be so much happier if they took a chill pill. Other, other people would be so much happier if I choked on it. <laughs> right, this um, young lady ordered yep. toilet rolls from Tesco's and she refused. Did she refuse? No. no she, she received yep. floor wipes. Antibacterial floor wipes. Yeah, your dad's done that. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It makes no. you very, very sore, very, yeah. very red. Just don't yeah. do it. I mean, how he didn't notice the, the he, smell of it, it was... <laughs> smell of bleach as opposed to anything sort of top, neutral sort of thing. But I have, honestly, I could write a book on things my dad has done. <laughs> right. Uh, is that all of them? No, one more. Uh, yeah. I think it's one more anyway. Yeah. Right. Uh, they ordered a tray of 24 cat food pouches from Asda. Yeah. And they received a carton of milk as a substitute. Long life semi skimmed milk, but still. Yeah. So we haven't got any cat food. We won't send you a pack of ham or a tin of chew yeah, or right, anything yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. We will send you semi skimmed milk. milk. It's not even cat milk, people. No, it's right. I mean. Yeah, I know. He's shocked. Oh, He's a human. <gasps> You what? I have it's, no food. I just have, have no some food. yucky, yucky milk that I shouldn't actually drink. Yeah. And that is it for the substitutions on that bit. Yeah. 
Right. So we've now got Darren's bits. We have got Darren's bits. I'm very partial. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> likes your bits, Darren. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. There we go. Yeah. So. Oops. Yep. Okay. I'm too far. Yes. This one on there says, is there any sort of book subscription for kids that exists where you order books and once you re read them, you return them and get more? It's called a library. Yes, it's called a library. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See. Right, this, was a, this was a good one. It was done as a video. Right. It's a bit from there. A bit so they, the customer email, I'd like a full refund for the product. And they're showing their product as they, they do it. Yeah. It's got like, so, oh no, did it arrive damaged or melted? Can you send us a photo, please? And we're happy to help. Because it's a, it's a bomb. It's a uh, bomb. You put, the, you put the things in. Yeah. You put, you put it in and then. Bath bomb. You, no. No. No, you put the milk in. Oh, I know what you, bomb, what you yeah. mean. Yeah, okay. You just yeah. pour hot milk out yeah. or pour hot milk yeah. on it. It says, well, I already cleaned it up. You should warn customers it doesn't dissolve all the way either. Oh, did you use it with hot liquid? Of course the marshmallows won't melt, but they are yummy. Oh, oh my god, I wouldn't eat this after taking a bath in it. That's disgusting. <laughs> yes, yeah. Ma'am, I'm sending you a replacement instead. This is not a bath bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no! We, we got, we'll show you a big bit of the of the cup as well because I love the cup. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> but yes. I've seen I'm a celebrity. Some of them could have that mug. Yeah. Yes. We have the Karen washing, Karen handling. Yeah. Washing. Add the shampoo, the vegetable to soak, few minutes, few minutes is, with cold water and not twist to squeeze. Drying, the wrap drops the water bead. Nature cool. Uh, F. <laughs> do not so, blow the breeze yeah. with uh, electricity. Do not blow the breeze with electricity. Styling, it is cool to sexually fornicate the empress. <laughs> <laughs> and use the steel needle the comb to comb the original hairstyle what the hell is the item I don't know I don't think well, I want to know I found it on there I used oh. to have a lot of stuff ones from it because they're called called English oh because it's it's where they've done Chinese but they haven't used uh they haven't used someone who actually speaks English to change it. Oh, so it. it's just like translate. It's how, how something's translate. How some how they've translated it. There is a reason they call it lost in translation. Yeah. Right. Mad what? honey is a type of honey that causes people to hallucinate. Honey hunters in Nepal make dangerous virtual climbs to harvest it because it sells for sixty to eighty dollars a pound. Good grief. He must be absolutely bonkers. Yep. Like that. Oh my days. Is that this real? Is, it's an actual road in Door County, Wisconsin. Like that. What on earth were they thinking? <laughs> they had to be drunk. I mean, it surely. Was, it's not even that it's not straight. It goes up and down. <laughs> Maybe that you, you've got to, you've got to have a shot of vodka or something before you start <laughs> driving down the road. Yes. And you've got, this bloke here, he was actually a Nobel Prize winner, he was. Oh. Uh, he said, by, it was in 1998, he said, by 2005 or so, it would become clear that the internet's impact on the economy has been no greater than the fax machines. Really? Nobel Prize winning economist, Paul Krugman. So he show, shows even experts like that can be wrong. <laughs> Yes, I'd say so. But it depends how it would all gone. If it had been because the guy who created it 
I can't remember his name yet. Create the World Wide Web. He he left it open so everyone he did it he gave it for free. That's right. As everyone so everyone could have it. Um if it had been charged it wouldn't have done. If they'd have charged you had to pay individual companies to gain access like it started off with. Yeah, that's right. Like that. If you had to pay a separate company it wouldn't have taken off. Not the way it did. I bet he feels silly now. Yeah. Uh, I've got got some of the oh some of the um, bits five star this iron won't, eyeliner won't run around like your man does I bought this eyeliner eyeliner and the first day I wore it I found that my boyfriend of five years was cheating on me and I cried and cried and cried and went to the bathroom to make sure that my makeup streaks wiped off my face but it was still completely perfect for all the crying it stayed in place so thank you for making an eyeliner that's more trustworthy than a man <laughs> 99 people found this helpful. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah. Customer questions. Can you replace a spray when you run out? If you run out of pepper spray, you may need to move to a different neighbourhood. <laughs> Sound answering. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. I've used this all up now. I've eaten all yeah, my sure. peanut butter. I need to have another one. It's broken. Yeah. Right. You got knickers. Right. Uh, it's really no hard to write a bad review of a t-shirt, but then I didn't receive a t-shirt. I received a package of women's panties. <laughs> now, under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be such a big <laughs> deal. But try explaining to your other half while you're receiving women's panties that aren't her size. Mind you, I'm a pretty clever guy, but even I couldn't talk my way through or out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! <laughs> Blooming brilliant, that is. Uh, blue, blue buffalo, wilderness, high protein, grain free, natural adult, adult paint, wet cat food. Pate. Right, pack. Yeah, mm. pate, yeah. Five stars. Your husband will never taste a difference. <laughs> I secretly <laughs> add this to my husband's post workout shakes because I hate him. So far, he hasn't noticed. Oh my days! <laughs> oh, good grief! Yep. This one oh, I loved. Whether it was genuine or not, or it was done as a Oh my a joke god. Bit. Bought in error, I live at 45. Look, 54. It says, so move the 4 to the left of the 5. It should like this. Look like this 4 5. Now, too much messing around. I'd rather buy the exact ones I need. Uh, fair enough. Don't push yourself. <laughs> That's got to be a joke, surely. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Right. Right. Thirty-eight percent of Americans won't buy Corona beer under any circumstance because of the coronavirus. Oh my God. These are the same people who think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> right. Oh yes. Hard boiled eggs are disgusting. I almost died eating one. The crunchy soft mix is absolutely disgusting. It's like eating a ravioli covered with chips. They didn't. <laughs> You're supposed to remove the shell. <laughs> For those of you out there would like to know, if you want to know what it like what it's like to touch a dolphin feel the, a yeah, hard I've boiled been. egg not with the, the shell on just yeah. the the white bit round yeah. that's what they this feel like on here, so it says, just saw footage of the queen driving and they blurred out the plates presumably so viewers don't ID her and find out where she lives oh gosh sometimes you wonder I mean it's really <laughs> funny but you do you do you sort of wonder is there any common sense left? That's right. Yeah, I love this one. Be different. Quite right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, they're all, they're you all and your all other friends same, are all wearing, all wearing the same, same t-shirts. And, and shorts. And pretty well the same bottoms as well. <laughs> well, similar anyway, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, so, but be, be different and they're all wearing, they're all wearing three different. 
I mean, it's like... Oh, we're all wearing the same t-shirt. Like, you yeah. see him, and it's like, you turn and say, you can see the problem with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the bit, bit that I, I was like, people say, 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 you're, 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 you're Put unique. Your back in. Yeah, you're <laughs> unique, just like everyone else. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's different. Yeah. yeah. Oh. These, these I loved. Self defence gloves for ladies, London, 1950. They've got. Look at them. My goodness. Oh, so that's where Catwoman goes. Yeah, that's right. Look at them. <laughs> Oh well, my this is god! Weird, aren't they? Aren't they? It's like fags here. Oh dear. Right. Oh. It's got, during a cold spell in 1947, in the town of Snag, Yukon, where the temperature reached uh, oh minus goodness. 63.9 degrees centigrade, you could hear people speaking four miles away because the air was so clear. Along with other phenomena such as people's breath turning to powder and falling straight to the ground. Good grief. And river ice booming like gunshots. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay, who else this, wants to breathe out snow? You've got this gate is a masterpiece of optical illusion. Vienna's Theresia Arena. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the hallway in Willy Wonka. Yes, but it's flat. It's a gate. Mm. Oh, it's genius. It's yeah, fabulous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say it's a gate, it's flat. But yeah, definitely. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one, not Willy yeah. Wonka. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely fascinating. Yeah. You got this? Uh, the last American Civil War widow died in 2020. Mm. Helen Viola Jackson was 17 when she married 93 year old veteran James Bolling. They married so that the, the Jackson would be eligible for Bolling's pension after the teenager helped him with chores and she never applied for the pension. Oh, bless. Yeah. So sad, but so lovely. Yeah. yeah. I love this one. I saw it I just out of there. It said, "I wish we could choose our baby fathers." Because a bit the person says down the and someone I wouldn't say, "I wish we could choose our baby fathers." And then, someone come tell her before I do, because I'm going to hurt her feelings. <laughs> That's sort of the answer. So, someone come and tell them before I do, because I'm going to hurt her feelings. Yeah. Right. Well, these ones here. Oh my goodness. The boy there. Yeah. A four year old kid named Bobby Dunbar disappeared on a family trip. Eight months later, they rescued him and reunited him with his family, and they lived happily ever after. Nearly a hundred years later, DNA proved conclusively that the kid they rescued wasn't Bobby Dunbar. Oh. Ah, oh, this one here. Donald Duck has a twin sister named Della. I didn't know that. She was first mentioned in 1937 and made her animation debut in 2017. She's a mother of Huey, Dewey and Louie. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, that's what I thought. Was like, oh, yeah, would, would have had one, wouldn't they? Yeah, because otherwise he wouldn't, he wouldn't have had nephews. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm growing a sandpit in my eyes, people. Yeah. 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 So I learned some of these ones. In Australia, there are firehawks, which which Ooh. are birds that intentionally set forest fires as a hunting technique. Excuse me. Yeah. How? I don't know, he's doing it there. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dragon. It blows yeah. fire. What else have you got on these? Yeah, another trailer. Hell sparrows that can't find a mate may serve as helpers to mating pairs in the hope of being chosen for a play that's a lost mate. Oh. Oh, 
I love this one. Officials went to congratulate Sojin Kato, the oldest living man in Tokyo, on his 111th birthday. Upon arriving to his house, a mummified body wearing underwear and pyjamas was lying in his bed. He'd been dead for 30 years, but his family kept the secret to keep receiving his pension. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and if they hadn't have gone to congratulate him on being the oldest, oldest living man in 111, <laughs> they would have kept doing it. It's incredible, really. <laughs> Yes. Uh, how toxic a polar bear liver actually is. The, uh, the entire liver contains enough vitamin A to kill as many as 52 adults. Good grief. If you spread it out and ate just enough to get your RDA every day, that liver would last you 143 years. God. During the Middle Ages, it was believed that ringing church bells during thunderstorms would keep lightning away. All the, right. The practice was abandoned after more than a hundred bell ringers were killed by lightning. Makes sense. It's metal. <laughs> In a tower. <laughs> this is true. Yes. I had heard about this one before. Stephen Hawking. In 2009, Stephen Hawking held a party open to all but only publicised the party after it was over, so that only time travellers would know to attend. As expected, nobody showed up to the party. Did he really? Yeah. I had heard about that before. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's quite disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. We've got a good one there. Uh, did I learn the beat... The, due, due to the Beatles retiring f from live performances in 1966, some of their most iconic albums, including Sgt. Pepper and the White Album, were never played live. <laughs> and it's got other bits on these. These are the other bits that it says about. It says, yes, the screams of the crowd were drowning out the sound equipment of the day. The Beatles couldn't even hear themselves play. That wasn't unusual. Yeah. And... It's got here. Uh, fun fact, they had to stop playing clubs earlier in their career because the fanatic female audience was spontaneously urinating all over the floor when they came out to perform. It was too much for the club owners. My God! So from an interview with Bob Geldof, the Beatles was a case of watching females and it excelis, excelsis. It's the old cliche, but you couldn't hear them for all the screaming. I remember looking down at the cinema floor and seeing these rivulets of piss in the aisles. Oh lovely! The girls were literally pissing themselves with excitement. So what I associate most with the Beatles is the smell of girls' urine. How so lovely. And John B. Lynn, son of the owner of the venue the Beatles played, told the Washington Post that the concert hall smelled like the pee of overexcited girls after the show. I, oh, that I, is, I had to have that. It was like you are. That is really <laughs> quite. <laughs> oh, they obviously didn't have ten and a lady back then. No, sure, right, yeah. And that is all down the bits. They were very good bits too, dear. Mm. Right, we have got now chocolate bait. Right, so I have to pull up my thing. Yep. Right, well, as usual, we're starting with Gem Boutique, and yep. I want them. I have to have them. Those they're the actually, ones. they're £29.99 each, yeah. and £3 he's, pounds delivery. Yes, he's got catnip on his, on his paws. Yes. <laughs> Tattoo I, on his paws. I love and them. Tattoos, I, nine lives. <laughs> I, can't, I can't decide which one I love more. <laughs> um, because both of them have got their what's it so they they yeah. are going on my wish list because I just think they're <laughs> fabulous so I had to share them with you yeah. all right next item again gem boutique and it's beautiful it's yeah it's lovely isn't it colour changing I believe yeah 
but that will set you back £46.75. It, it was originally £55, but it's currently got 15% off at the moment, peoples, and £3 delivery. This one I put on, it, it's not particularly my cup of tea, but it really did make me giggle, <laughs> and the term pothead came to mind. <laughs> it just, it really did make me laugh, and I thought, I've got to put that on there. And he is nine ninety nine, which is actually pretty good. Oh, hmm. uh, three pounds delivery. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Right. Our nice. next bit is which box? Now, yeah. I actually I went onto their um, website, and I clicked on some buttons I hadn't clicked on before. And one of the things that attracted me was this. They've got on there they've got a match magical crystals to their properties yeah. and uses test, yeah test your crystal knowledge yeah with this quiz by witch box or have a competition with your friends to see who's the trick crystal expert so guys um have a go let us know what you think yeah and uh or how you did because yeah. i'm quite curious i'm expecting journey to do very very well on this because <laughs> she is my go-to crystal lady yep got uh well angela's good one as well yes that's true nice. yeah but um i yeah. also took a couple of screenshots of different things because i know we've said it before that they do do discreet packaging yeah um so this is just a bit for you to read yourselves yeah and i also went for a couple of other questions which were do i need to be an experienced witch to subscribe which they've answered again in full no, and to. is a witch box suitable for all genders yeah um whatever you identify with yeah it's it's not there are stuff different ones yeah it yeah. it doesn't really that isn't what matters no so you know mm. never let that hold you back no because it shouldn't no and right and you've got some I've bits about got, it haven't you there. yep they've got some people have already got in for it i've i shared it on instagram on instagram they've got a witch box giveaway which is the moon meditation box that's right uh we didn't we haven't got in for it ourselves no because, because they send us a box us every the, month anyway and it would box, be taking the box to mickey review really. anyway so it's, it's taking a mick if we go in for it as well so it's so but, but we're crossing our fingers and hoping you guys have a go <coughs> give way time swap to see if we win it's got all the bits in it <coughs> yep. uh, all is, sorry oh, follow the witch box account uh like the post which is the heart bit tag a friend down in the comments mm -hmm. for a chance to win on february the 13th 2023 we should consult the witch box crystal ball for a winner. <laughs> but no, I mean, when bits come up, guys, we like to share them with you. Yeah. Right, so. And they're also. International uh, post, uh, isn't it? Yep, international post is. Uh, they're going out. Yes. On there. Uh, we know uh, they've informed you guys, yeah, but if any of you were waiting, from, as from uh, today, I believe it's they start they started going out properly now. Yeah? Mm. Um, and I believe they're also doing ten percent off on this month's box. Nice for not much longer now. No, I think they uh, extended it or something, didn't they? Yeah, but it went, it went it goes on for this month's box, but it's I say it's uh, it it finishes soon. Mm. It's for new subscribers only. So yeah, plenty to look at on there. And Coven. Now, uh, Coven, they didn't have anything no. um, new that really popped up, but, uh, but I thought you'd want to see this. This is their this is their main like their home page, yeah. if you like. Yeah. So Feb February's theme is vampires. Yep. Um, but so if you it's got kill style gift on uh uh a nightmare before christmas one as well sign up gifts if you sign up for for a month you don't get anything from it no i believe it's 
I believe it's six and twelve. Three, six and twelve months, I believe, if you get something. Yeah, so you've got potential if you sign up for whereas a few you, months. Whereas if, if you, if you, because if, like, well, then if you pay, if you sign up for three, six or twelve, you pay for the whole amount of money up in advance. Mm. Basically. But yeah, I mean, honestly, um, it's worth it. Mm. We don't get anything for saying this, by no. the way. We, we, we no. are pretty much across the board for we all our people yeah. that we use. So. Yeah. Oh yes, we've got Freya's Cauldron. I uh, had a crystal set. Yeah, and the, the chest. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's twenty six ninety nine. Yeah. Obviously, there is postage, but you'd have to go on to that at the time. Um, the next item, because I picked three oh, items at like random. So it's twenty four stones there. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, because they were saying the the postage on it. You have to go on there because the postage they charge you. Uh, what it costs is they charge you what the weight is mm -hmm. so like if it's lighter item if you've got lighter it won't cost that much yeah but obviously if it's like the other the other bit that's gone on recently when we got the obsidian that was quite expensive because it's a heavy bit of wood, heavy bit of stone <laughs> but so worth it <laughs> right this next item is a selenite charging plate All seven right. centimeters in diameter hmm. and it's only actually 5.99 which i thought yeah. was pretty darn good yeah but yeah i mean i liked the simplicity of it hmm. and i don't know who did their pictures but i love them hmm. <laughs> All right and the last item from prayers yeah. is a poppet doll spell kit for protection oh, yes. We got that one. We got that in one of the boxes before. We did, yes. Yeah. Uh, they're selling it uh, for twelve ninety nine. Mm. I mean, I've got to say, I love the different spell kits and that that you can get. Yeah, so there are lots of need. them. Right. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I knocked into it. Yeah. There you go. Right. So we've got new commenters. We have quite a few new commenters as well. Mm. This time, we have got something uh, we're very excited Lee, about. Lee Andrew. Hi Lee. Hi Lee. Uh, gravy chip. <laughs> Hi gravy. Hi gravy. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is. <laughs> uh, Rachel Noonan. Oh. Hi Rachel. Hi Rachel. Noonan. That's a surname uh, I recognise from something. Uh, Andrew Poulton. Hello, Hi, Andrew. And Tracy Hogan. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> and Toys for a Pound. Yeah, we were. Hi, we, Toys for a Pound. Hi, <laughs> Toys for a Pound. We they were really this, no, <laughs> we were really buzzing. Um, yeah. They actually saw one of the posts. That we yeah, one of the did, older ones. One of did. The, yeah, it was. Mm. It was one of the ones from the vaults, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, yeah, we we do use them throughout mm. the year. In we've actual got fact, we've got we've got, we've got a few. Oh, yeah. And we've got some more. And coming we've got through some post. more coming through the post. <laughs> Not because they wrote to us, but because they had stuff in had again stuff that in we wanted. Office. So it's actually worth going and having a look at they uh, excuse me they used to do up to five pound items they now do up to 20 pound items but these are items are um, very large yeah um they got facts. artists represent us these particular artists ones of catwoman yeah penguin penguin and robin, robin. Yeah. and they're on um i believe savvy they were about 80 quid at one at one mm. point no it's yeah. worth so the fact you can pick them up for 20 isn't bad at all no. but yeah i mean again we we just came across them yeah. and we love the bits and bobs they do they do plenty of different things as well as old-fashioned mm. retro stuff um yeah. i've gone harry potter again because it's just me <laughs> but you'll have to wait and see until you see the haul as what we've yeah. got you haven't seen the haul for the last time we got you either because mm -hmm. that hasn't gone on yet. 
and that was good too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and that was all then. We have now got questions. questions. Uh, got Journey into the realm. Got Veronica Mars, that brings back memories. Love Kristen Bell in that. Mm. Have you seen The Good Place? We, we saw some. We saw We've some of the first series. And then Don't something I? else took over. Yeah, something else came on and we but, started watching that. Um, but it was good. It was good, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that we disliked it. It's yeah. just that um, yeah. you haven't seen it. It's, I loved uh, her in Veronica It was Mars. like, like pe the spe special people in the world who'd done particularly good and this like that, they would go to the good place, which is a special place, which is all wonderful and everything. Now, she died at the same time as someone else with the same name. That's right. And she got sent there instead. And she's not a particularly good person. She's she's, she's not she's not a bad person. She's not wicked she's, or anything, but she's, she's just a bit normal. <laughs> so like, selfish, yeah, like self involved. Self <laughs> not you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it's, yeah, it's quite it's a comedy. Yeah. Bit, so it's, uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, journey again. Oh, there's a Ghostbusters one on Zappy. I need to see that. That was about the Ghostbusters. Yeah, that um, was the um, yeah, uh, Ghostbusters trap. Yeah, that's which right. Is in there, which is quite expensive. Yeah, well, it's fifty four ninety nine. It's a uh, it's, it's a um, a lot of people have said that it's it, quite cheap but, and plasticky. Yes, um, yeah. I, I put down the there were two reviews on it. And I've got them on here. It's only got two reviews, both one star. Mm. And it's got um. Fire has a disappointing looks rubbish started a mountain first use. Oh that's not good. And do not waste your money. I was bought this as a gift. It looks infinitely cooler and better quality in the picture than the disappointing piece of plastic I received. It's a fire hazard at best. I mean to be honest I mean, guys, it, I have it looks, seen it does look really good. I have seen but then different again, you can't, ghost you can't have bits, bits you can't have bits made out of plastic if you're gonna put a cone inside. No. It. This is it. Honestly, it's gonna it's gonna burn, isn't it? Yeah, I think. I mean, it's such a shame because it would be so effective. But but yeah, that was all the questions. It was. But we have lots of comments. Ooh, Other good. comments and things. Things. Uh, put this one on it. It says like journey. It says fudge does a deep deep dead ferret sleep like you could shake him and he wouldn't wake very scary at his age but he's always done it now I, when I saw this I, I said to Debbie about one that I'd seen before I'd shown her a video yeah. and it, I haven't got it on here it's, it's, it's quite sad it's a the cat loves a ferret oh that was best, that was best, horrible best I didn't and like, like that because that. Like, like ferrets will, will be like as she said on there a deep deep dead dead ferrets like they'll just you'll just hang them and they'll just hang there and not move a bit like a baby or any baby animals yeah. come to that but they like just she, drop where they are sort but yeah, of thing but she, she, they picked it up and like show, showed her the cat and the cat the cat was went into mourning it wouldn't eat it wouldn't sleep it was just, just sitting around like that and then it saw the ferret moving around coming round, and it was sort of scared that it was overjoyed when it saw it like, oh it was it was very yeah. emotional to well, watch but i really yeah. wish people wouldn't yeah. do things like that yeah right uh, she's got different themes we all want to take down sometime yes i know yes. oh no believe me a lot of themes. them were ones i uh, we've got wizard of oz chronicles of narnia because he asked what different themes we should go for suggestions in wizard of oz chronicles of narnia Tim Burton, Discworld. She's very obsessed with Discworld at the moment. Uh, Wizarding World, Unusual Animals, Mythological Creatures, where we go witchcraft and do the elements, or different time periods. Uh, quite a few of those, because we're actually quite similar anyway in thought process on <laughs> things. Quite a few of those I'd, um, I'd thought of. Chronicles of Narnia was one that I was sort yeah. of intending on doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, quite a few, as I said, same brain pattern almost. Mm. But um, not uh, Tim Burton and Discworld didn't. Uh, no, they're two different things. Me. Tim Burton and Discworld. I know. Oh. Um, cool, right? But yeah, 
I mean, to be honest, any suggestions are grand. Yeah. I mean, as I said, I did the Wednesday Stroke Adams Family one this because week because away. because of um, mm. Lisa Loring's death. So mm. it was, you know, it just felt like the right time. Although yeah. if I'd have left it until after the second Netflix one of Wednesday, the they have been a bit more on there but I managed yeah, so that's not gonna happy. be that's not probably won't even be this year no this is it yeah, I I ju mean, it just felt it right may, it may be this year but it's debatable you know I mean? this is it but no it just felt right to do at the time yeah. yeah we've got pink poodle so I used to watch cold case and this is how I found about the Japanese internment camps in America so I'm not sure if you've seen there's a play up in London based on George Takai, who's a pseudo from Star Trek. He was in one of these camps for four years. I think Cold Case was very informative in historical events. It is it was. in quite a few. I actually, I actually found out about the Japanese internment camps in America mm. from George Takai. Now, because uh, I can't remember what it was on, but it was because uh, I, I used to follow him on uh, Facebook. That was after yes. um, he oh, did on celebrity. celebrity. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I, so I saw about it on that. They were saying he was saying about the Japanese internment camps, and I didn't know about that before then. And then I saw sort of Cold Case later on. But yes, it was very informative for different historical things you didn't know about. Um, let's say if you want around that time period and um, to know about it's in um sort of world war time sort of thing um the ellie dean books uh beach view series are really yeah, good but you, the UK. you get to, they are yeah. only on the uk we're, yeah we're in liverpool but in fact yes yeah. <laughs> uh no 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 London? no it's a i yeah. it's a made-up place but the point is that it's um set in this little coastal town yeah it was originally beachview was originally a b and b but they took it they started taking in people that um like nurses and uh that's when i first found out about lumber gills i didn't realize there were lumber gills during yeah. the war it makes perfect sense about it when you think about it well, yeah because the blokes were off at war this is it <laughs> like, but, yeah. i mean that's only one very small aspect it's really yeah. informative when it comes to um a lot of different things actually and you you get so involved with the characters that you know you really care about them so she's an absolute genius writer but i'd recommend that book series to anyone i really would oh, yeah uh angela I watched the last season of One Owner One Herb. It wasn't as good as the previous three series. We started to watch One Owner Herb a couple of times now. Mm, we just can't get into it. So, it's missing something. But we, we can't sort of, it's not sort of gripping us into it. Uh, got, um, the latest Criminal Minds Evolution is really good. It's most of the same characters. Yes, um, we're, wait, not, we're really, waiting yeah, for, wait for them to all go for, on, for, aren't we? For, for a finish. I think there's a week or two left on it now. So and then and then that'll be that'll be all of them on there. Because we do same, we love same criminal for, um, minds. Same for us uh about a week or two left for um National Treasure on there as well. Mind you, I'm still series. behind, and I we're haven't wait, we're waiting for that that to all come on so we can watch all of them. That's right. But um Oh no, uh Golden Compass one. Oh yeah. Um yeah. I haven't seen the look the last the series one. of that or the third season of that so yet his, his dark materials yes that's right yeah. that's the one yeah. and tracy uh had to re-watch parts several times so i got distracted by watching the hamster balls everyone does <laughs> quite we a few of you guys everyone gets distracted balls, by yeah. the hamsters <laughs> i mean i've got mishk rolling around up and down um in front of me here earbuds just rolled past and yeah. knowing pan yeah. he'll be out in the kitchen Penny's there oh he's Penny's by daddy yeah. fair enough he's usually out in the kitchen he's usually yeah. out in the kitchen yeah. yeah all right and this was the poll we had last week 
we put on on Monday. That's right. Yep. So, what was your favourite mystery box? Unboxed on the channel last week. And that's the results. And, yeah, the most popular, 43%, was Coven. And Witch Box. And Witch Box. Over January. They actually yeah. tied in even. Yeah. To be fair, uh, third place. They were fabulous. Yeah, third place was uh, the occult box, nine percent, and mm. fourth place, the Craftiosity, with four percent, and fifth place, the occult box, Spooky Socks, with zero percent. But to be again, fair, again, I mean it was it is, up against a, some of the big walloping pound, ones. It's only a seven quid box with a pair, yeah. of, pair of socks and a free gift. That's so right. it's, it's gonna it's gonna be low anyway, isn't it? That one is. But I mean it's but just yeah. a curiosity thing, Darren's yeah, so just intending bit, on doing this fun. each week we'll each now. Week, I mean week on Monday and as so I said said on the other one, I'm gonna do the um on uh Saturdays. I'll put on the uh, caption. That's on there as well. Yeah. So you can, yeah, if so you, you haven't had a so go you and you, you the, can think you can of something, video, please do. Can, it's just or you can a bit do it of fun. Easier on that. Yeah. Hmm. And so never, never worry if you, you know, if you enjoy taking part. It doesn't matter whether you're right or not. Yeah. I mean, you can always go with what my nan used to say. If you if you don't know the right answer yeah. and can't think of a, you know, do something funny because at least it gives people a laugh. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. And that is it. And that's it, guys. That's all of it. Which means Darren's still got to edit tonight or this morning. This morning. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Ten past five, yeah. <laughs> right my lovely so all that leaves us to do is say be different yeah and a very merry on hoo hoo to you have a good one bye, bye.